What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna give you a rundown of all the cars. We have the Jeep, the Model A, and the Vet. We can start with the Jeep. It's a 1977 CJ5, has a worn winch, wouldn't go with anything else. Can't wait for the moto, uh, moto built bumpers to come in. They're actually getting powder coated. 304 V8, it's all rebuilt. Everything is pretty much new. It's got the headers, new brake booster, metal brock intake. Holly Avenger carburetor. All right, I hope you guys can see it good. I'm trying to get you a good angle. This looked nothing like this before. I just recently finished this. This has the electric cutouts. So it sounds pretty savage. The Warrior product shackles. So these wheels, I just refinished them and they're actually extremely hard to find so i couldn't find them anywhere looked on ebay i mean i looked on craigslist forever wanted to buy them new i just ended up going um polish on these that takes a trimming there the fenders windshield i mean the whole thing will be complete and i still have to just even put the lights on it this bet 1977 it's got like 70,000 miles i think some pretty good condition if you know most of these vets have like a huge gap here so this one is probably lowered about four inches believe it or not see how it's like kind of tucking i love the way it looks except it's sitting just inches from the ground cool thing about this one besides the interior being redone Let me start it up so I can show you guys what I think is pretty cool. It's got these cutouts. So it's not that loud there. Then it's loud. Or you can go back to quiet. I like it. Surprisingly, I like this way more than I should. I don't know why. It's a great car. They're underrated, I think, for the price that they're at. They're like at, you know, probably a little over five grand. And for a car like this, it looks like a car that would be probably worth 20, 25 grand. I mean, it's got beautiful long front end. The lines are great. I'm gonna refinish the wheels and the whole car will look new. This for the price that they're going, we can't beat it. Really can't beat it. Now the Model A, I'm not gonna do like a full review because I have done it before and you guys know it. S2000 motor, 1930. This is actually some pretty cool things are happening with this in the next few days. Now this, this is the newest edition right here. It's a 1967 Fastback. It does have some details, so like things like that you can tell is probably sitting outside for a while. These wheels need to be refinished. But it is beautiful. And I've always wanted a fastback, so this is the first one I've ever owned. I've owned a, a good amount of Mustangs, especially the first gen. The gauges look good. I hate that. I don't like these aftermarket radios on these cars. This is where the AC would go, which I wish it had AC. But it is pretty nice overall. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, well, that's that. This one doesn't work. I just got this car, so I'm still trying to, you know, see exactly what works what doesn't what needs to be replaced this needs to be replaced honestly these mustangs are really easy to work on and that's why what i mostly like about them i do like that they have the turning signals here that's actually something that got re-implemented on the new ones so for those of you guys that have the s550 mustang gt it may have that it does have a 289. 
it's got this 289 v8 it's not pretty and all beautiful like the jeep but hopefully it will get there and now it is an original four speed car when i first got in this car i don't i didn't know how to put on reverse cool little thing that maybe you didn't know for reverse it's got a reverse lockout so you have to lift up here and then it'll go in up oh, gotta press the clutch but you get the idea Anyway, this is probably the most beautiful part of the car here. Anything else you want to know? You can follow me on the gram at Ricky Boada or across all social media. Peace. Make sure you like and subscribe, please.